final cut of Django different from what you initially wrote or envisioned? And <laughs> showed her. <laughs> uh, uh, um, it's not, you know, it, a best, a, a better way to kind of describe it is um, when I'm writing. I mean, aside from, from uh, uh, yeah, for the most part, yeah, I don't think there is a caveat to this. When I'm writing, it's about the page. It's not about the movie. It's not about cinema or anything. It's about the literature of me putting my pen to paper and, and writing a good page and making it work completely as uh, uh, a, a literature art, uh, uh, document on itself. That's my first artistic contribution. And, um, and if I do my job right, by the end of the script, I, I should be having the thought, you know, if I were to just publish this now and not make it, I'm done. <laughs> I've done it. I could actually be okay with just saying that that's it. And then th that can stand and whoever wants to read it will read it and that's, and I'm done. Now it's mine to F up if I go forward with it. Now I always go forward with it, but I actually think you, sh I, for where I'm coming from, I want to love that script so much that I, I'm tempted to stop. I'm tempted to call myself a winner right then and there before I climb the mountain. <laughs> yeah, and so, yeah so, the thing, so the point being of that is, there's stuff that's in the script that I know will never ever make the movie, but it just makes the, 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 the book, the, the piece of literature better. It's, it's a better read, it's a better, it, it, it's more emotionally satisfying. And then you can, you can, just like you do in an adaptation, you peel that, a lot of that stuff away.